Throughout the course of history, disease outbreaks have ravaged humanity. Sometimes changing the course of history and, at times, signaling the end of entire civilizations. First, let's define what is a panademic. In the realm of infectious diseases, a pandemic is the worst case scenario. When an epidemic spreads beyond a country's borders, that's when the disease officially becomes a pandemic. Communicable diseases existed during humankind's hunter-gatherer days, but the shift to agrarian life 10,000 years ago created communities that made epidemics more possible. Malaria, tuberculosis, leprosy, influenza, smallpox, and others first appeared during this period. The more civilized humans became, building cities and forging trade routes to connect with other cities, and waging wars with them, the more likely pandemics became. See a timeline of pandemics that, in ravaging human populations, changed history. Here are 10 of the worst pandemics, dating from prehistoric to modern times. The Plague of Athens in 430 BC Death Toll, up to 100,000 The earliest recorded pandemic happened during the Peloponnesian War. As much as two-thirds of the population died. The symptoms included fever, thirst, bloody throat and tongue, red skin and lesions. The disease, suspected to have been typhoid fever, weakened the Athenians significantly and was a significant factor in their defeat by the Spartans. Antonine Plague in 165 AD Death Toll, 5 million The Antonine Plague was possibly an early appearance of smallpox that began with the Huns. Symptoms included fever, sore throat, diarrhea and, if the patient lived long enough, pus-filled sores. This plague continued until about 180 AD, claiming Emperor Marcus Aurelius as one of its victims. 250 AD, Cyprian Plague Death Toll, 500,000 Named after the first known victim, the Christian Bishop of Carthage, the Cyprian Plague entailed diarrhea, vomiting, throat ulcers, fever and gangrenous hands and feet. There were recurring outbreaks over the next three centuries. 541 AD, Justinian Plague Death Toll, 50 million, 26% of world population. It is believed to be the first significant appearance of the bubonic plague, which features enlarged lymphatic gland and is carried by rats and spread by fleas. Recurrences over the next two centuries eventually killed about 50 million people, 26% of the world population. 1,350, the Black Death. Death toll, one-third of world population. Responsible for the death of one-third of the world population, this second large outbreak of the bubonic plague possibly started in Asia and moved west in caravans. Dead bodies became so prevalent that many remained rotting on the ground and created a constant stench in cities. 1665, The Great Plague of London Death Toll, 100,000 In another devastating appearance, the bubonic plague led to the deaths of 20% of London's population. The worst of the outbreak tapered off in the fall of 1666 around the same time as another destructive event the Great Fire of London. 1918, Spanish Flu. Death Toll, 50 million. Wire service reports of a flu outbreak in Madrid in the spring of 1918 led to the pandemic being called the Spanish Flu. The avian-borne flu that resulted in 50 million deaths worldwide. A second wave followed in early 1958, causing an estimated total of about 1.1 million deaths globally. 1981, HIV-AIDS Death Toll, 35 million First identified in 1981, AIDS destroys a person's immune system, resulting in eventual death by diseases that the body would usually fight off. Those infected by the HIV virus encounter fever, headache, and enlarged lymph nodes upon infection. When symptoms subside, carriers become highly infectious through blood and genital fluid, and the disease destroys T cells. 2003, SARS. Death toll, 774 deaths. First identified in 2003 after several months of cases, 
severe acute respiratory syndrome is believed to have possibly started with bats, spread to cats and then to humans in China, followed by 26 other countries, infecting 8,096 people, with 774 deaths. SARS is characterized by respiratory problems, dry cough, fever, and head and body aches and is spread through respiratory droplets from coughs and sneezes. 2019, COVID-19 Death Toll, 351,000 On March 11, 2020, the World Health Organization announced that the COVID-19 virus was officially a pandemic after barreling through 114 countries in three months and infecting over 118,000 people. And the spread wasn't anywhere near finished. COVID-19 is caused by a novel coronavirus a new coronavirus strain that has not been previously found in people. Symptoms include respiratory problems, fever, and cough, and can lead to pneumonia and death. Like SARS, it's spread through droplets from sneezes. There are some practices you can follow to remain calm through these tough times. Stay safe, stay home.